to the Honorable Bishop A.D. Cunningham, to the Honorable Mayor of Savannah, Van R. Johnson II, to Honorable Aldermen and Women, fellow ministers, brothers, sisters, to the community, and especially to the family of Bishop C.M. Bailey. We welcome you to this great momentous occasion today on April 2nd, 2024. Today, we continue a celebration that began on May 23rd, to be exact. May 23rd was the 15th anniversary of the day that God showed himself in Bishop C.M. Bailey, and he began to lead the United House of Prayer for all people. Bishop C.M. Bailey was sole trustee in the charge of all church holdings, including senior citizens facilities, commercial selling complexes, a network of housing complexes, many of which are affordable and housing to make sure citizens can still afford to live in highly gentrified areas, just like the Madison Haven apartments right here on, in Savannah, Georgia. A network of market rate housing complexes built with style and flair that have won national awards. And everything I just mentioned, he led the church in doing mortgage free without a single trip to the bank for any financing. Yes, yes, sir. Bishop Seen Bailey cared deeply about our young people. He had a prophetic vision called Return that was all about them. Let me take you back. On May 23rd, 2008, the children of God gained a father, a comforter, a leaning post, a bridge over troubled waters. Bishop, yes, but much more than a bishop. Even though he is gone now, I want to tell you a little bit about Bishop C. M. Bailey and why the city of Savannah have seen it fit to grant him this honor, an honor that the city's own law says is for figures of national note and prestige. He was a father, but he was a good father, a great father. He was a good father and a great father. Because he was so great, we make a little personal and we call him Dad. I call him sweet daddy. Some call him precious. Y'all better come on and talk to me. Now today, you will hear me say Bishop Bailey sometimes because that is who he was. He was indeed the bishop of the United House of Prayer for all people. But Think about the return. He had us returning, coming to our youth services, which he called the great night. If you want to see our young people in action, come on tonight. Can I, and watch the young people do the, live on the legacy of precious Daddy Bailey. All of this was to instill positivity into our young people so that they can be in a world that offers nothing but negativity, but they can still be positive in a negative world. Yes. But again, C.M. Bailey was more than all of this. He was God sent. And when God sends the man, the Bible teaches us that God will show up in the man. God was with Daddy Bailey. That's why we called him Daddy Bailey. Now, we get ready to open up this program with devotion, song, scripture, and prayer. We have song coming from Apostle Effie Brown of Canaan Land Mission. We have scripture coming from the pastor of Portsmouth, Virginia, Apostle R.C. Lattisar, and prayer by Apostle Kilcrease of Claxton, Georgia. At this time, please proceed in that order.
Blessed assurance. Jesus, he is mine, 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 mine. Oh, what a fool takes glory divine. Have a salvation purchased of God, born of his spirit and washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. Oh, the day long. Oh, this is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Echoes of mercy burst on my side. Angels descending. Rain from above echoes of mercy and whispers of love. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior. Oh. The day long. If you love him, sing yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Sing yes. Invite your prayerful meditation to the reading of Isaiah, the 56th chapter and the 7th verse. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar, for mine house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. O merciful and mighty God, our heavenly Father, here it is once more and again that we humble ourselves before thee with our heads bowed, giving you thanks and giving you praises, O oh God, for this another day's journey, a day that were given to us not by promise, but your grace and your mercy. Hallelujah has pleaded our case and we are able to stand once again and say, Lord, we thank you for another day. 
We give thanks unto you, O God, for the manifold blessings that thou hast bestowed upon us. Not just this day, but every day of our lives. Lord, we can't help but say thank you. Thank you. We want to thank you, O God, for your darling son, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. The one that came down in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. We thank God my Father and my Heavenly Father oh that you sent the United House of Prayer to America in our early years. And then we want to thank you, Lord, for our founding father, precious Daddy Grace Grace. We thank you for him because he brought the house of prayer to America, bringing the true and undisputed gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, that dying men and women everywhere might have a right to the tree of life. We thank God for precious Daddy Grace. Oh, we thank God for his success of the day in precious, precious Daddy McCullough. And we thank you, Lord, for his successor, precious, precious Daddy Madison. And we thank you, Lord, for his successor, one that is in honor today, Almighty God, in precious Daddy Bailey. Hallelujah, my soul rejoice. We thank God for precious Daddy Bailey. He gave us 15 glorious years. He gave us a years, almighty God, that made a difference in so many of our lives. Taught us to give God everything. Let us know that we must return to the principles and the values in which this house of prayer faith was established upon. We thank God for precious Daddy Bailey. Taught us, my God, that we must love and raise our young children in the way that they should go. Oh, we can't thank God enough for precious Daddy Bailey. Hallelujah. We will never forget him because he meant so much to us, changed our lives in so many ways, made a better citizen out of many of us. We thank God today. Hallelujah. And then we want to say we thank God, my God, for his family, oh, his companion, his children, and his grandchildren. Lord, we pray that you will keep your loving arms all around them. And oh God, we say, we ask you to look down upon the city of Savannah. Bless the city, oh God. Bless the mayor of the city and the city government. Hallelujah. They may stand strong in the Lord. Help them to realize that you are still in charge, Lord. And they must bow their heads unto you always. Hallelujah. Let them know there's help right here on Ogeechee Road. My God, have mercy today. And then God, we want to say at this point in time, Hallelujah. We don't want to forget about the one that you have sent in the last and evil days. When our heads was hung down. Woo. When our hearts was heavy. Seemed like we didn't have no one to turn to. Oh, but you said in your words, Lord. Your son prayed a long time ago and said, send another one. And we thank God that he sent us another one. One that shall abide with us forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Because they see him not. Neither do they know him. But I thank God to have some prayer children. We know him. Because he dwelled among us. And he is in us. We thank God for precious, precious Daddy Cunningham. Hallelujah. That is leading us to deeper depths and higher heights in the Lord. Oh, keep your loving arms all around him. My God, as he travels from state to state. Hallelujah. And then God, when all is said and done, when we have come down to the end of this old dusty walk of life, hallelujah, we must go into our eternal resting places. Hallelujah, we pray in Lord that our work be so pleasing in your sight and we can hear your glorious voice saying, well done, that good and that faithful servant. 
this prayer we offer in the mighty name of your darling son Jesus ruined by the holy and divine prophet in the land today precious precious daddy Cunningham all people say amen continue with this program. We're going to have a welcome from the city, from the Office of Communications of Savannah, Georgia, Mr. Ken Slatt. And after Mr. Slatt, we have remarks coming from Alderwoman Bernita Lanier, Alderwoman District 1. And remarks from Joseph Melder, the city manager. After the city manager, we will have a selection coming from the Savannah District Youth Choir from the entire Savannah District. Yeah. At this time, Mr. Ken Slats, please proceed in that order. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, all of you, for joining it. Mother Lord. <laughs> what an absolutely picture-perfect, beautiful day here in Savannah. And it's certainly a worthy event, and I'll tell you what, um, these are we don't do a whole lot of these. We passed an ordinance in 2017 to do them. We've only done about a half a dozen of them, but it will be nice to, to uh, for the House of United House of Worship for, to let them know that they need to just come up Bishop Bailey Way to get into the congregation. That will certainly be nice. Just a few of the ones that we did do, uh, Lieutenant John White was one of the original nine, the first African-American police officer in the state of Georgia. He has an honorary street designation. Also, Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock, a U.S. Senator, has a street designation. And the first African-American female superintendent, Virginia Edwards Boehner. So those are just a few. It shows the significant contributions to the city of Savannah to be honored. And soon we will have Bishop C.M. Bailey Way, which is nice. We have a lot of special guests with us today. You'll see behind us our mayor, Van Johnson, is with us. 
District 1 Alderwoman Bernetta Lanier, you'll hear from her. And also I see at large Alderwoman Alicia Miller Blakely has joined us. Ms. Blakely, raise your hand. Thank you so very much for joining. A few other elected officials, of course, former Mayor Edna Jackson is in the house. <laughs> Senator Derek Mallow is with us. And David Campbell, our coroner, has joined us as well. And if I forget anyone, I'm sure our mayor will come up and clean it up for me in case I accidentally did. Our city manager is Jay Melder, and you two will hear from him in a little bit. Our assistant city manager is Heath Lloyd. And we have several chiefs that lead the way in our certain departments. Chief Brett Bell from Information and Public Affairs. Taffney Young from Chief of Community Services. Jean Pravat is with us from Government Operations. Our police chief is Lenny Gunther. A big yeah. thanks to our police department for helping us out today. And I see our fire chief, Elsie Kitchen. They've been busy over the last couple of weeks, so thanks to our public safety divisions for doing a great job here in the city of Savannah. So with that, we will start with our older woman from this district, District 1, Bernetta Lanier. Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. To the Honorable Bishop Cunningham, all of the officers and members of the United House of Prayer Church. Thank you all for the invitation to come here today for this great event. Let me tell you a little bit about me. I grew up in the neighborhood just here on the west side called Hudson Hill. And on my street, there was a mission. And there was also a Friendship Baptist Church. And we had uh, St. Anthony nearby. So there was lots and lots of family, lots of us over there. And we all were members of those churches and a few more. So most times you had to attend your own church, but sometimes you had a choice of where you wanted to go. So when we were given that choice of which family's church we wanted to go to, the children always wanted to go to the house of prayer. And that was because we loved the washboard, we loved the tambourine, we love the horns, we love the drums, we love the guitar, and we love to praise the Lord. So when we had a choice, we were in that house of prayer. And so what I remember about the house of prayer, I remember that red carpet being rolled out. I remember when the bangs came, convocation. It was a great thing. It was a big neighborhood celebration when there were happenings at the house of prayer. So we always loved going to the House of Prayer. And when the House of Prayer moved, when that mission moved from Weldon Street to Bay Street, what I do remember was that the House of Prayer turned that building into affordable housing. And I thought that was a great thing. And then I noticed that wherever there was a House of Prayer, there was a, a cafe. So the ca House of Prayer was known to feed people. And that was a great thing. And then if you look, wherever you saw a House of Prayer, you saw Housing, so the House of Prayer was known for housing their people, feeding their people, taking care of their people. I have eaten to House of Prayers up and down the East Coast, and every time I say, this is so great. And in having this invitation to come here on today, I looked up, it's so easy to get information, I Googled, and I looked at all of the former great bishops and the great leaders of this church, and all of the work that the House of Prayer do in the community. And I said, this is great. So I want you to notice how many times I stood here and I said the word great. Because when I think about the House of Prayer, the only thing I could think about as an institution that sits here in the first district and throughout the city is this is certainly one great church. So again, thank you for the invitation on this beautiful day for such a worthy cause. And congratulations to the House of Prayer for having this honorary street name here today. Thank you, Alderwoman Lanier. Our city manager is Jay Melder, and he's been around for about two and a half years in the city of Savannah, and I know he likes these events because he learns a big piece of history. Every time we have one, we stole him from Washington, D.C. to bring him down to the city of Savannah. So let's welcome our city manager, Jay Melder. Good afternoon. It's so wonderful to be here at the United House of Prayer for All People. Bishop Cunningham, thank you so much. Um, as Ken said, I've been the city manager um, for two and a half years. It's been the honor of my professional career. 
to be able to serve this mayor and this council, to be able to serve this amazing community. Um, and, in no and in no small part, um, because of the great gifts that Bishop Bailey uh, provided for this community, um, it's clear, even in the short time that I've been here, uh, that Bishop Bailey was a man who made the way. He was a man who paved the way for faith and salvation, for housing security, for food, for fellowship, for community, for leadership, and for peace. And I'll be very brief because it's such an honor to represent Team Savannah, and I know there are many uh, city employees who are here today. Can you raise your hand? Um, this is... These moments are very important for us as a city staff um, because we, we get to play a small part in honoring the women and men and the community leaders who paved the way for us to be here to continue to serve. So it's wonderful that here in front of this church on Aguichi Road, for a man who paved the way for so many people, that this road can continue to be a paved path for salvation, for peace, for service, and for love. Um, and that's what we try to do at the city of Savannah every day. Um, so it's an honor to be able to celebrate Bishop Bailey, and it's an honor to be able to lay this street designation here on Ogeechee Road. Thank you so much. At this time, we thought it'd be fitting in honor of precious Daddy Bailey because he inspired so many young people that we will have all the young people from the Savannah District to come and be on this momentous occasion. Come now, Savannah District Youth Choir. Look at our young people.
Mr. Ken Slacks. Thank you very much. That was wonderful. How about another round of applause for the Children's Choir? Another elected official in the house, we'd like to welcome Bobby Lockett from Chatham County Commission. Thank you for joining us today. And now a man who really doesn't need a big introduction, our 67th mayor of the city of Savannah. Please welcome Van Johnson. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day in the greatest city on earth, Savannah, Georgia. Bishop Cunningham, thank you for gracing us. Mother Cunningham, with your presence. And I want to take a moment of personal privilege because many people may not know this. The date was January the 2nd, 2024. Bishop Cunningham had come into town, and it was the day of the city of Savannah's inauguration. So I tried to come over to see the bishop who could not see me, because I was told the bishop wanted to come and see us. And many of you may not know, but before our inauguration, the bishop, Mother Cunningham, showed up at the Savannah Civic Center. to offer congratulations and blessings to myself and members of the Savannah City Council. And I cannot tell you how much that meant to us for you to come and be with us in the midst of that moment. And we will always remember and appreciate that. A few hours later, I learned my father had passed away. And yet I got a call from the bishop checking on me to make sure I was okay, and I appreciate that. And I got a letter, checking on me again. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not here because Bishop C.M. Bailey is gone from us. I'm here because he was with us. And I'm here because he made a difference in Savannah. And Savannah loved him. Yes. And Savannah will always love him. Yes. Because love is an action word. Yes. And love never dies. Yes. And I would be selfish enough to even admit that I think Savannah is one of his favorite cities. <laughs> I'm saying that in Savannah. I still think it was one of his favorite cities. But we were blessed with his presence for 15 years. I met him as an alderman for the first district, and our relationship grew through me becoming mayor, and certainly during our COVID pandemic. And you remembered what we were going through. And this man of God provided leadership in a time we needed spiritual leadership for folks to keep the faith but follow the science. Yes, and we were able to do that. Yes, sir. And we were able to still gather. Yes, and we were still able to praise the Lord yes, by being safe. And I appreciated that about him. The last time I saw him, before he left the throne, he blessed me and said that everything is going to be all right. And now I still hear that in my ear. That everything is going to be all right. So we're here today to fulfill a promise that we made almost two years, over two years ago. That we were trying to figure out what to do, but more importantly, how to do it. And so we come today to fulfill that promise. To make sure that the world knows very clearly 
that Bishop C.M. Bailey was loved, adored, and respected in the mother city of Georgia named Savannah. And we wanted to have a way that people coming through, riding through, going to and fro, stopping to get something good to eat, or coming to worship the Lord, knew that they were riding on Bishop C.M. Bailey Way. And that the C.M. Bailey Way led to the United House of Prayer for all people. Where Bishop Cunningham, I understood that he said, give God everything. And that we should give God everything. Because God gave us his very best. So there are a lot of people to thank and I want to take a moment just to thank them because I realized in going through our emails, Bishop Cunningham, that you were involved when we were talking about how to do this. And it just seemed now that it's all in a full circle. So thank you for your leadership in this. Apostle Dr. Murray, thank you, sir, for all the emails you sent me that I didn't respond to. <laughs> because you were sending two and three in the same hour, but thank you. I appreciate your persistence, sir, and your kindness throughout this journey. Apostle J.R. Taylor, Savannah still loves you, sir. And you still have a home here in Savannah. We appreciate you for working with us throughout this journey. Apostle Ransom, well, we salute you, sir, because you kept us on task and made sure we kept the main thing the main thing. And we appreciate you as well. And Elder Rucker, we welcome you to Savannah. And I'm going to leave it right there. <laughs> We love Duval, but we love Savannah. Yes, sir. All right. Wait, where are you, sir? Savannah. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's right, all right. And to all of our pastors here that, that play such a huge role uh, in making Savannah what it is. Savannah is a blessed city because Savannah is a covered city. And we're a covered city because we have folk praying for us. Even we don't have sense enough to pray for ourselves. And I thank you all for that. And then for the city of Savannah, Joe Shearhouse. Where are you, Joe? Stand up, Joe. <laughs> Joe is responsible for the process to make sure that the, the T's are uh, crossed and the I's are dotted. Thank you, Joe. And we appreciate that. Jay Melder is our city manager. And I think Jay wants to join the band. <laughs> so we're going to help him to do that. Heath Floyd. <laughs> is our assistant city manager. Heath, we appreciate you, sir. I always give respect and honor to where it's due. And ladies and gentlemen, we are blessed to have here, uh, well before I got into this, uh, the 65th mayor of the city of Savannah, Representative Edna Branch Jackson. And she'll always be my mayor. Uh, certainly members of, of Team Savannah, who have been so critical in this process. And then, lady, ladies and gentlemen, most importantly, your Savannah City Council. Um, because it's a process, and we don't do this often. It's been said that oftentimes it has to be people with tied significance to Savannah, oftentimes Savannians. But there is a provision in there that talks about someone of national providence. And our beloved Bishop C.M. Bailey falls within that. He was a national figure, but we loved him in Savannah. And may people who ride along Bishop C.M. Bailey Way be blessed because the name is blessed because it's named in the honor of a blessed man. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we honor you. We salute you today. And let us continue doing God's work, God's way.
I'm so glad he cleared the air. <laughs> As the combined choir would get ready to do their performance, we thank Mayor Johnson for those remarks. Daddy Cunningham, even when he made the motion to pass, I tried to shake the mayor's hand. <laughs> and to shake his hands to greet and thank him, he waved me off and said, I know who you are. I said, sir, I'm here now. I don't want to hear nothing. I know who you are. I'm so glad that he cleared the air. <laughs> Mayor Johnson. At this time, we're going to have a selection coming from the Caban Choir of Savannah Mother House. Come on, clap your hands for him, clap your hands for him.
Thank you. At this time, we've come to the best part of this service. On August 11th, our hearts were broken. But truly the words and the scripture came to pass that he will send us another comforter. And he comforted our broken hearts. And we follow him. I heard the city officials talk about the chiefs. We have a chief. We have one man whom we believe in. We believe in one man who is the ruler. Somebody say ruler. I don't care who, even though I've been moved to Savannah, no matter what position I am or any man is in this kingdom, we're all Boy Scouts when he shows up. There's only one leader of this far-flung organization. I introduce to some Bishop A.D. Cunningham and to the church at this time, the remarks coming from our very own sweet, sweet, precious. He is our savior. He is our lawyer. He is our bridge over troubled water. At this time, precious, precious Daddy Cunningham. They feel like I'm going to face. Of course, we want to give thanks and praises to the Almighty God. Amen. And so we will always see you, Jesus, if we are done for it. Oh, what a great occasion this is. First, I'll mention the motto to the head we're near Johnson. That's what they can be. We can look at this one in space. Now, former mayor sitting over there, and to the bailing staff. The last time I spoke to him, I gave him the bailing the flag shows back there. That he is called a man. I said, Joe Council and all you left hand card, Mr. Banks. Not for the whole, you've been sick now. I've been here with the Lord of Cloud, so what? And now I'll watch you, but I'll buy you an image and we got something. Yes. What can we say about this great man? Who have had such a great impact at upon our lives. So God. He was a difference maker. That's what it was. He drew us closer to the Lord. That's why. Right. Not just by his sermon, he would by his walking in the field. He in the A lot of men talking. And he would just do that. He was living. Yes, sir. And my only regret is the day early was not here in the bucket. Yeah, I collected like to see this. <laughs> but even this would not have impressed him because he was not about honor for length. But to interpret he actually is the bank. He was about doing the Lord's will. Yeah. Thank you. And even though he's not here to see the street. He may is honor him. He's on another street now. The street that's paid with gold. I want to see him one day. I know in order to see him, I must go the barely way. Because his way was the way of Jesus Christ. And so Jesus said, I am the way. That's not well. Then the Apostle Paul, he told the Corinthians when he wrote to him, that we have 10,000 instructors in Christ, not in God, yet have ye not really found the same For in Christ Jesus, I have been guiding you through the gospel. Therefore, I'm sending my son to the fetus to you. That he will remind you of my way. Which be in Christ. So it is my prayer that everyone that walked down with me 
Don't just come to go to the cafeteria. There's something on the inside. It is my prayer that everyone in their auto will be there. They can have trouble in their life. As soon as the time. My God. You know, the pavement of Bishop Bailey Way, they can have peace. It is my prayer that those that are in trouble and don't know which way to turn, if they just ride down this street, that they will get in Bishop Bailey's way. And if you get in his way, he'll get in your way. When we thank God for this day, this is a day we will never forget that the great city, as the mayor said, one of Daddy Bailey's favorite city. I'm, I'm repeating him. <laughs> This great day in Savannah, and she will never forget, and we did thank you, but thank, thank you all, and all that had anything to do with this, and hey, was involved. And I heard you speak of how it's not done that often, and they started off with just the people that we here and live here in Wesley. But you saw enough in Daddy Bear to break the barrier. Here we are. Thus, ask what you normally would do and allow someone of national promise because that's who he is. He's not a local leader. No, sir. Well, not. It's just the national. That's right. But he's had an impact right here in Savannah. And like, when we want to carry on his honor. So let's walk in Bishop C.M. Bailey's way. Yeah. This is the way of the Lord. And we have this.